Oh, hi everybody. I am Janet and today we are in the Mother Goose Club Playhouse Kitchen and I am joined by my friends Anna Grace. Hello. And my friend Lucas. Hi. Today we are making pizza. We made our dough and now it is time to roll out our crust. Now, what we want to do is we want to put a little bit of flour on our rolling pin. That way the dough won't stick to it so much. Let's get to rolling here. Here is a trivia question. Does anybody know who invented pizza? Gooey Lou. Gooey Louie, I love that name. I don't think he has anything to do with pizza. Uh, do you have a guess? I have no idea. His name was Rafael Esposita, June 11th, 1889, and he was making a pizza for Queen Margarita of Savoy. And so on it, he put tomato sauce, basil, which is green, and mozzarella cheese. So you have red, green, and white, which were the colors of Italy. Uh, we will give uh, Rafael Esposito some credit today for making pizza. All right, so I think that I'm good, but it's like I... Oh, I don't want it! <laughs> you guys give it a try, that's kind of fun. It's kind of like action, like a frisbee. Yeah. Wow, that's good stuff. Oh yeah, one last twirl. So we have made our pizza crust. They're all looking very, very delicious. Now, what do you suppose is the first thing we need to do? We need to put pizza sauce on. All right, so with that said, everybody grab a spoon and pizza sauce away. All right, so once you're fine with how much sauce you have on there, all right, you guys are good with that? All right. Now we're going to talk about the ingredients we can put on top of our pizza. Now, you mentioned put that you like what on your pizza? Pepperoni and cheese. All right. So are you going to put your cheese on first or your pepperoni? Cheese. All right. So away you go. Now, what, are you, what would you like to put first on your pizza? You know, I think I'm going to do something really funky. I'm going to put my cheese on last. Ah, oh, very, very creative cool. here. All right, so what would you like to go with first? Probably bacon. <laughs> All right, so she's going to put a bit of bacon. Now, I am going to go uh, the route of Chef Lucas over here, put a little cheese. Have you guys ever had avocado on a pizza? Is Not that a pizza. what you make guacamole out of? It is what you make guacamole out of, but I love avocado, so I'm gonna put a little avocado here. So you're gonna go for a little pepper there, a little orange bell pepper. I think that's a good idea. Now, where are you gonna go from here? Um, sausage. All right. Oh my goodness, all of this smells so good. I just wanna like eat it raw. Ah, it won't <laughs> be long now. And uh, so I've got my peppers, I've got my avocado. I might go with a little more cheese. I might, oh, you know what, I forgot. That looks really yummy. And then I'm gonna put some black olives on there just for good measure. There we go. All right, so now it is time to put the pizzas in the oven. Can you say, la pizza? La, la pizza. pizza. In the oven. In the <laughs> oven. <laughs> you always wanna be careful with the oven and have some assistance with that. And now we will set our timer. All right, and we wait. Oh goodness, this is Lucas's pizza. We're gonna put that right there. This is Anna Grace's pizza. And then this is my pizza. <laughs> Do these so not look amazing? And they smell fantastic, don't oh, they? Yes. Uh, are you proud of your creation? I think it's gonna be really good. All right. And you're excited to try yours? So good. I say it's time to cut into these pizzas and let's have a bite. I think the word for the day is bon appetit. Everybody try a bite of your pizza. All right. <laughs> That's pretty good, guys. How about yours? <laughs> oh, it's a little hot. So, no, it's a little hot. All right. So we have a few <laughs> final words for you. <gasps> bon appetit. <laughs> we'll see you next time, Mother Goose. See Gishka. you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you willing to try some avocado there for me? I'll try it. All right, come on, Lucas. Would you say that an avocado is a vegetable or a fruit? A uh, fruit? It is a fruit. It's actually a single seeded berry. Okay, so how about a little bite of onion? Wow, onion is very delicious. <gasps> oh, it's kind hot. spicy. Oh, it's hot know. to you. Oh. A little bit of an anchovy here. This is a fish cured in uh, salt and oil. Anybody brave enough to try this with me? Oh, really? 
really salty, really fishy. Super fishy. <laughs> Kinda tastes like the aquarium smells. Well, hello friends. My name is Janet and I am here today on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. Let me introduce my friends. This is Gianna. Hi. And this is Ethan. Hi. They're brother and sister. They're my neighbors. They come over often and we do crazy things like today. So yep. today is a taste test challenge. So, ooh. ooh, any ideas what we might be tasting? Today, we're gonna be tasting baby food. <laughs> so, put these blindfolds on. There you go. I think I might actually like some of them. Well, I'm kind of wondering about baby food because I don't really remember eating anything when I was a baby. Well, right now I want you to pretend like if you were a very hungry baby, what kinds of sounds would you be making? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> really? See, I would think that maybe you just needed to change your diaper on that one. I want to hear a hungry baby sound. Um. Because I got one. You want to hear mine? Yes. <laughs> Me. No, I guess you don't talk when you're a baby. So, how about this? I want you to get ready. I'm going to grab uh, something here. I'm going to put it on your spoon. So, I'm going to keep keeping score here. So, have a taste at it. What do you think that uh, tastes like? Very mushy. Mushy, all tastes right. Tastes like ketchup. Ketchup, really? Ooh, it tastes like this type of fruit I really like, but I can't I name it. Maybe right. you like a pear or an apple? Pear or apple, okay. All right, so... Um, I've heard a lot of things here, but I want uh, your final guess. Apple cider. Or apple cider, okay. And what is your final guess there, Gianna? Apple. All right, so. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared. No, don't be scared. All right, so take a. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not good. Okay. Let's see. Um. If you have a final guess here, so other than not good, I'm just gonna say squash. I don't know. Okay, squash. All right, what's your final answer there, Ethan? Asparagus. Asparagus. Wow. All right, so here you guys go. This is number three. Any ideas? More liquidy than the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really liquidy. It's like not a usual taste. It not tastes a... like the you know, that flower artichoke. Like yeah, maybe like, like artichoke. Yeah, that's what I think it is. It's mm -hmm. We are tasty. Okay, so we're gonna go. So your final answers are artichoke for that one. Yes. yes. All right. So hand me those spoons back. All right. Hopefully it's fruity. Like yeah. well, fruit. Ooh, that went a little everywhere. Yeah. What are you thinking? What are you thinking there? Ooh. Ooh. This one actually tastes like artichoke. Wow. We have more artichokes. I, I promise you, they're not all artichokes. I think I know what it is. What do you think? Peas, like green peas or something. All right, green peas. What's your final answer over there? You're still going with artichoke. No. No? It's not good at all. Peas. Asparagus. Wow. So the final answer is asparagus? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, this should be awesome. This sounds amazing. Should remind you of a holiday, all right? What do you think? Potato, but... Ooh, I don't think. okay. Potato what? All right, what about you? It's weird. All right, so other than weird, final answer. Oh, I'm um, just gonna say potato. I can't really think of anything else. All right, I think it's potato too. Are you just copying? Nope, it tastes like this burnt weird potato. Burnt weird potato, okay, that's what we'll say there. If you don't like this one, I'm gonna be super, super surprised. Am I right, is it good? Cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon. Like, like, a, like a, Cinnamon apple. I forgot what they're called. It's like cinnamon and apples. Cinnamon apple. This was a delicious one, yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Here you go. Here's oh, there. Oh, there. Oh. Okay. There you go. Everybody's got theirs. Okay. Good. Good. It tastes like grape. Grape? I huh. would say apple or pear. Um, I'm going to go with pear. You're going with pear. Okay. So, all right. What are you thinking? I'm scared. Yeah. Oh, what? I just said a little bit. It's like really thick and more of a solid than a liquid. I, I know this taste, but I can't. Broccoli. <laughs> Why do you say broccoli with such vengeance? Okay, what about you? Um. Final answer. Green peas. All right. All right, so rate this one for me. Mm, I don't really know about this one. Okay, you don't know. Okay, so final answer, if you're just gonna guess. Um, carrot. 
Okay. It does not taste like a carrot to me. Okay, what does it taste like to you? Final answer. Oh. Okay, squash. All right, there you go. Final, final one. Oh, let's see. Is this one a good one? I think it's a good one. It is good, but I can't. It's good, but you can't really place it. Yeah, because of all the other tasting. Oh, so it's, oh, That's your palate weird. has not been cleansed. Mm. What are you thinking? Final answer here. Strawberry. Right oh, strawberry. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna go with strawberry. We are now. It's, have reached that moment where we're going to tabulate and see who got the most things right here on our baby food challenge. So I'm looking at the flavors and there's zucchini, broccoli, medley. Wait till you figure Ew. this out. So number one, <laughs> number one, Gianna, you said it was mushy and fruit and you finally said your final answer was apple. Yes. You actually said ketchup of all things at very first and yeah. then you finally said apple cider, but it was in fact Banana. Yes. That was banana? That was banana, the very first one. So for number two, you said your go-to answer here was either asparagus. Yeah, that's, asparagus. that's what you say here. And then yours, you said uh, some type of squash. That was the old rice and lentils. Number three, uh, you said horrible and artichoke, right? That's what you said. And then yep. you said more liquidy, uh, uh, not as artichoke. And believe it or not, that was actually what we're calling zucchini broccoli medley. Ew! Yeah. So maybe there was a little bit of artichoke in there. So, was so because neither one of you has scored a point, I'm gonna give you, we don't know what the medley might also include. I'm gonna maybe give you a point for that. So sorry, Gianni, you have zero. Now, <laughs> for number four, all right, uh, you said, oh, you like totally went like gross and you said you went back to saying it was asparagus yeah you said green peas not good it was actually green peas yours for the win so then the one that i said that may have tasted a bit like the holidays you know what you said i said potato you so you're gonna get a point for that because it was sweet potato right oh. sweet potato and chicken did anybody and taste chicken, chicken? yeah chicken. chicken was in there did you taste the chicken because you yeah. apparently did not, but you did say weird burnt potato. So I'm going to give you, all right, I'm going to give you a point. So right now, yeah, right tie. now it's a tie, two to two right here. So then the next one, you guys said, you said pear, you yes. said grape, but in fact it was apples. Oh, yep. That was right. apples. Yep. And then the next one here, you said green peas, you said broccoli, but it was actually vegetable turkey dinner. So next, number nine, uh, you said squash, and you said totally not good, you said carrot, and that was the summer vegetable dinner. So, because I can't know what they say, and uh, well, let's see here. It has a carrot right uh, there. Yep, it's got a carrot, and oop, it says squash, so you both get a point for that. So it's now three to three. Oh. Let's find out for this last one. What do you think? They both said strawberry. I think I'm gonna win. Nope. Both of you said strawberry, it is prunes. <gasps> so, officially here on the Mother Goose Club Playhouse, it is a tie. So raise your hands in victory. Three to three, we tied in the baby food taste test challenge. All right, we'll see you next time when uh, who knows what we'll be tasting. See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye. Now, you sure you wouldn't want some more pears or raspberries? I'm good. All right, what about the apples? Anybody? Um, no. Hello, Mother Goose Club. I'm here with my friends, Darby and Ariana, and we're gonna be doing a Pringles taste test. Okay, you guys are gonna have to put some blindfolds on. All right. Okay. Okay, here's our first mystery Pringle. Whoa. <laughs> I've never had this one. Oh, it tastes good. I've never... Wow, I don't know this? what this would be. <laughs> I think it's dill. Is it like dill mm, or like is a it... dill pickle? Yeah. Kind of tastes like... I'm gonna go with dill pickle. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with sweet relish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mystery Pringle number two. Um, I'm gonna go with barbecue sauce. Yeah, I think it's okay. barbecue. Yeah. Mystery Pringle number three. 
This one might be a little more tricky than the last one. Okay. I think it'll taste good though. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm tasting. I don't either. <laughs> it tastes like, it doesn't have a flavor. It smells really good. Do you need to uh, try another one? Mustard? <laughs> I think. Is that your guess? That's my guess. Okay. I think it's mustard. original. Original? Okay. Okay, mystery Pringle number four. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait. I know this, but I don't know what the word is. Like, oh. It smells like... It tastes like um, chili. Yes, it's chili. Yeah, chili, for sure, for sure. Do I have to finish this? Huh? I'm taking so long. No, you don't have to finish mm. it. You don't want to. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. <laughs> okay, number five. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think it's ranch. Ranch? I would think this is the original. It just kind of tastes like potato mm, chips. Yeah. Are you changing, mm. your, are you changing mm. the answer? Um, yeah, I think I think this one is original. Yeah. It's a salty. Number six. <laughs> mm, I'm scared. <laughs> hmm. Wait. I'm really clueless. Hmm. Just make a wild guess. Lemon, lime, uh, ranch. Lemon, okay. Lemon, lime, ranch? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna go with ranch because I haven't guessed that one I yet. Still, and I, I still really taste don't chili. Know. Is your mouth burning? Because <laughs> <laughs> if you guys know, my, my mouth is not burning. Your mouth should not burn from a, <laughs> a, a chili flavored potato chip though. Okay, this I is number know. seven. <laughs> This is salt and so vinegar. Good. Salt and vinegar? Yeah, I think this is salt and vinegar. I think it's cheddar. Cheddar? Yeah. Okay. I really still have like so much flavors in my mouth. I know. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this one is mystery pinkle number eight. Salt and vinegar. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, this is mystery Pringle number nine. Sour cream and onion. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, it's so good. Our last mystery Pringle, number 10. <laughs> Any guesses? Would this uh, be taco? I recognize <laughs> this flavor, but I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I think it's taco, or taco? cheeseburger, or... Mm -hmm. Oh, cheeseburger, that's probably a good guess. I think it's... I'll go with top taco. Taco? But I feel like I stole it from you. No, nah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's time to tally our scores and see who won the Pringle Taste Test Challenge. Okay, can we take off our blindfolds? Sure. For our first mystery Pringle flavor, Ariana, you guessed dill pickle, and Darby, you guessed sweet relish. And the flavor for the first mystery Pringle was cheeseburger. What? What? <laughs> that totally just tasted like um, well, well, you have dill, dill, dill pickles on <laughs> cheeseburgers. For our second mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed barbecue, and you were right. For our third mystery Pringle, Ariana, you guessed mustard, and you guessed original. And the answer was <laughs> honey mustard. No, so you, you got you that. Got it. Yes! You got it. That was smart. It wasn't even bad. I don't even like mustard. But it <laughs> tasted good. Mustard. And for our fourth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed chili, and you were right. And for the fifth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed original, and you guys were right again. And for our sixth mystery Pringle, you guessed ranch, mm -hmm. and you guessed lemon lime ranch. <laughs> and the answer was zesty salsa. Oh, that was the lime. So you yeah. were kind of you were closer. I was actually, like the lemon lime. Ranch. Ranch. Yeah, you were you were kind of close. <laughs> okay, and for our seventh mystery Pringle, you guessed cheddar and you mm -hmm. guessed salt and vinegar, and the answer was ranch. What? Oh, <laughs> this one's one of my favorites. I want to taste these again without being blindfolded and see if they taste different. <laughs> right. I know what it is. 
And for the eighth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed salt and vinegar, and you were right. Okay, and for our ninth, you guys both guessed sour cream and onion, and you were right again. It was sour cream and onion. We didn't do too bad. No, you no, guys did we pretty good. Okay. You guys yeah. did pretty good. Yeah. Okay, and for our last one, you guys both guessed taco, but the answer was pizza. Pizza. What? <laughs> oh, I guess I can see that um, or taste that. Okay, and for our final scores, the winner is drum roll, please. Ariana. Yes. Good job. Good it job. was really you close. Too. You had six and you had five. Okay, so it was it very was a close. close call. Yeah. 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 Very close. Good yeah. job. Good job. You too. Nailed it. Thank you for watching, Mother Goose Club. Bye. Bye. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.